breaking. Welcome to today's headlines. Why the release of Unamdikanu should be based on public interest and not sectionalism. Why the release of Unamdikanu should be based on public interest and not sectionalism. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read today's news. The release of Mazi Unamdikanu, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, who was rearrested in June 2021, has been a major issue of discourse in the southeastern region of the country. Following his repatriation from Kenya to Nigeria, he has been placed under DSS custody, series of protests have been held while facing trial before Justice Binta Unyako led court for charges based on terrorism. Apparently, his detention led to series of sit at home enforcement in the southeast, which resulted to a decline in the revenue generating capacity of the region at the last quarter of 2021. This plight made the release of Mazi Unamdikanu a much more intense issue of this cause. Recall that towards the end of last year, some elders of Igbo land approached the president Muhammadu Buhari to plead on behalf of Mazi Unamdikanu, former Minister of Aviation in the First Republic, Chief Umbazulike Amechi, urged the President to grant the IPOB leader an unconditional release owing to the situations of the Southeast at that time. President Buhari acknowledged to consider their difficult demand while he stressed on his policy of non-interference with the judiciary all through his tenure. In sync with this, it is imperative to comprehend that the release of Unnam Dikanu should be based specifically on the interest of the general public and not sectionalism. Recently, the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, signed while speaking on Kano's release, overtly declared that the decision of the President will be based fundamentally and at all times on public interest consideration, noting that the interest of the President is on the 200 million citizens in the country and not on a few people. As Buhari rightly told Igbo elders last year, the best thing the administration has done for Unamdikanu was to subject him to the system, granting him the grace to make his case at the law court was the best thing that was done in favor of the general public interest. There is no doubt that outright release of Kanu as demanded could go against the interest of all Nigerians at large while it favors sectional interest. Notably, the charges against Unamdikanu are matters with major concerns on the interest of the public. I am sure that many members of the public are against agitations that gear towards dividing the country and its cooperation assistance. This is why it would be very wrong to release Unamdikanu 
on the basis of sectionalism of the southeastern of the southeast region rather is released should be based on the interest of all Nigerians. The release of Mazi Namdekano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, who was arrested in June 2021, has been a major issue of discourse in the southeastern region of the country. Following his repatriation, from Kenya to Nigeria, he has been placed under DSS custody. Series of protests have been held while facing trial before Justice Binta Unyako led court for charges based on terrorism. Apparently, his detention led to series of seat at home enforcement in the southeast which resulted to a decline in the revenue generating capacity of the region at the last quarter of 2021 this plight made the release of mazi unamdikano a much more intense issue of this court.